in the near future of the year, 1990X. Hey! Kristoff from Hope Dunno Kennebridge, what are you doing here? You ripping off my series. No, this is Rikio. It's not Hope Dunno Ken. It's 1990X, the world fell apart, the heroes on roids, and no super kung fu. He fights his lost brother, and there's Wolfman. How is this not Hulk Donokin? Read the manga, and you will find that it's different enough not to get sued. Unlike those Taiwanese and Korean live-action abominations, it's even more over the top and impossible in real life. More impossible than fucking a guy making his head explode? He punches a guy inside the mouth, and hits the soft brain with his hard fist, and sends the soft brain out the head by shattering the hard skull and landing in one piece on the floor. That's more impossible since it tries and fails to be real. Okay, but everyone has to take a drink every time they notice that something was done in Hokuto Noken. Should we have a counter or a signal for each time something Hokuto happens? No, let the true fans find out on their own. Tenjo Tenge got this from me. Wagua. <laughs> 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 Time to go to prison. Hope I can achieve my goals before I go prison game. And so, Rikio gets three years in jail for crippling a drug dealer, and the other two guys he killed don't count for some reason. That's my towel, Makamatsu, you nerd. I bet you enjoy chess and Star Trek, you nerd. I'm not a nerd. I just wear glasses. Jerk punch! <laughs> I'm being a jerk because you might get paroled and I have a fetish. You made a toy in your spare time. <laughs> this isn't a high school that teaches you to play card games. This is a prison! You don't get a souvenir for getting through it. And it's a train! Trains are sold in the 1850s. And that's when America had slavery, so that makes you a confederate. Why didn't you make a Transformer or a VR Trooper? You really are a nerd. Thomas, no, you're dead. Die for your sins. And nerds are bad at anything physical. Now to make you pay for your crime of being different. Wow. What's going on here? Wakamatsu tripped and mutilated his face somehow, right? Yes, it's exactly what happened, and not any different from Iwata's version. What a gruesome sight. Time for some off-screen unholiness with my hand. Rikyo, why do you do this? <gasps> Hope you can use your right hand for that unholiness. I've been shamed by the incident with Rikyo. I want him gangsonomized to death or something. But Rikyo is the hero. He has turbo splatter kung fu. So let's send Bando after him. He ate a whole horse once. And so, Wakamatsu hung himself as Iwata did something that got his parole not to happen. Wakamatsu was only in prison because he ran over a cop while driving his pregnant wife to the hospital or something. <laughs> Who puts handcuffs on a dead guy? What a waste of handcuffs. You and Thomas can be grave mates, even though Thomas was shadowed before and is now healed with no explanation. Wagua! I'm gonna get 30 kilograms of rice for beating you, and I'm gonna have it with Rikio sauce. You say you want my sauce on your rice in a prison shower scene? And I thought the only 80 Zowie was Saint Seiya. I openly admit to sending him after you for some reason. Bust Buster. Rikio die! You better hope I don't have AIDS, cause this nail is in my anus. You try to give me AIDS? Well, I'm gonna spill your male fluids all over this place.
Come with us, guy who just killed two dangerous men with his bare hands and little effort. Iwata was some relative to the Hamtaro Chikana Iwata. I'll see you after your punishment. Rikio! And so, Rikio was sent to the hole for a month for violently murdering two men and had a flashback about when he almost suicided in front of his mother's grave. I dreamed you would come to wimp out of your fate by suiciding after finding out your monster secret that's only revealed in the manga. If you don't want your life, then I would like to have it. Is that a mind swap ref or a yaoi ref? It's a you're my people ref. Now start punching tombstones. You have stood a month in a dark room alone with your hands chained from your crotch. I, Assistant Warden Sugiyama, am impressed. Now tell me Rikio's life story, minion. He's the son of a merchant and went to the top schools in Japan where he played the flute or something gay. Before college, he disappeared for two years and beat up a drug dealer and got sent here. No mention of the other two people he killed as they aren't important. Look, Rikio, a letter from your parents. You killed both those guys with one punch and took a nail through the hand without flinching, but my claw in your hand harms you? That must make an adult video addict like me seem strong by comparison. Now tell me why an overpowered character like you went to this jail. Are you a spy, or have you come to steal my hetero adult videos? My secret true reason for coming here is only shown in the manga. You, Sodom Bottom! You keep letting us out to the guards for personal gain. We ought to gang Sodomize you to death or something. Please forgive me. I'll do anything to keep you from harming me. Anything. I'm not prison gay yet. I ought to gut you and use your organs as soap. I am the boss of this wing of the prison, and nobody gets killed without my approval. But I heard you queered out when Rikio murdered two men in the shower, and that you're trying to be a vampire because you like Twilight. I'm going vampiric because I enjoy Nosferatu and Vampir. Those Twilight Sodomites are as cynic as true vampires like the ones in Castlevania. <laughs> Let's have you fight Rikio and use Emer as bait. Here's a weapon. Why are you going so slow? I'm being crucified. I'm going to kill you because someone told me to. Even if I have to cut myself and strangle you with my own organs. Oh, oh no, he's dead. I shouldn't have walked here so slow. Oh well. What's an underage boy doing in a man's prison? He was sent here for sharing naked pictures of an underage minor to a girl in his class that he liked. Pictures of himself. That makes him guilty of obscenity and he was sent here to a place full of men who haven't known a woman in years. He then became Narumi's fanboy to protect himself. Now we've got nobody to protect his butt. So are he and Narumi going samurai? What? And many samurai had a younger male companion they would often make love with. Think Batman and Robin. Batman is not gay with Robin. He just studied in Japan and has a young male companion and wears tights and has nipples on his bat suit. They aren't yaoi partners. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Same with Sonic and Tails. Meanwhile, later, the head warden comes back from Hawaii and is surprised that his privatized prison has had five deaths in a month but later has no qualms about killing a lot of prisoners himself. It is further revealed that the recession caused crime to go up, and to keep things out of the red, Japan privatized its prisons so they could use them as cheap labor. I'm Yume, the leader of the southern wing of this prison, and I'm gonna kill Rikio for some reason. If you wanna play your relief, you gotta curl your tongue. OMG, his tongue was cut out. Don't cry, here's a flute. I was using it to protect me in case I dropped the soap. But now that I'm top dog of this prison after killing your butt buddy, you can have it. A poppy leaf? This prison is a grow up. And so, Rikio has a flashback to where this kid he was friends with became a vegetable after getting hit by a car and given 
hospital had to buy inferior drugs from criminals to make the budget. You found a opium glow up. Kung Fu time. You know, it's your company that pays for these clothes I wear, so losing a shirt is more your problem. I hit a hidden pressure point. Your heart will stop. Then I gotta punch myself in the chest to CPR it back up again. Wow. Ah! I kept you alive so I could find out why you came here. You're behind the drugs and medicine that kill innocent people. There is a war about to happen, and they will need opium to deal with it. And many governments will buy it for me. Also, the climate and society are getting screwed up recently is a sign that the world is gonna get worse and maybe end. It's the mid-90s now, so 2012 is coming. Opium is our country's biggest export. We'll get killed, cause we fat cats will get rich. Now time for some sadomasochism. I'm gonna make you submit to me before I kill you, cause I'm screwed up and evil. And so, Rikio has yet another flashback to where he met another young kid who he befriended in a non pedo fashion. You've been giving food to Rikio, so next time put this poison in it to avenge Narumi. Fine, not to switch Ken. Shoo! Rikio was gone. Surprise, Captain Buttwipes. Wow. Yomi killed Asa and skinned him. It's not bad enough he cut out Asa's tongue. Dim something the first to make love with the body. What's wrong with you? I'm a necropedo. I enjoy making love with dead kids. Most of us are in prison for a reason, you know. Dim on being the first after him. Rikio, you burned down our poppy greenhouse. Hey everyone, what's all right happening? Let's join in. Keep it down. I'm trying to watch TV. The giant jellyfish can grow up to 450 pounds. Wow, that's like the fat chick. Uh, I hope Densuke Kun doesn't mind the weight I gained. There's a riot, and my greenhouse is burning. Activate the emergency plan. Kung Fu Punch! Shouldn't this be cement? There's no evidence of our drugs now! Oh come on, that's not even possible! Die! At least I don't explode! Hide boo! Even if you beat me, I still win, cause you're voiced by Bin Shimada, who was Yuda in the Okdono Ken. And he was Yaoi, so that makes you a Yaoi boy! No! I win, cause Yuta may be yaoi-ish, but he's still straighter than everyone in Naruto combined. The closest to hetero anyone gets in there is a 50 year old who lusts for a 12 year old naked boy, who turns into a naked girl sometimes, and that's when he's not yaoiing Michael Jackson. No! I'm done with this place, Fist of the Jew Star. If you can punch through walls, then how could anyone stand a chance against you? And why didn't you do that sooner? 